Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The Clark County Sheriff Kevin McMahill delivers his State of the Department address today to Las Vegas Metro Police and the media. Review Journal's James Schaefer highlights the Sheriff's key agendas. Shift changes for officers, a focus on mental health, and a goal of reducing crime across the valley by 10%. All part of Sheriff Kevin McMahill's first State of the Department address. And we didn't do it by arresting our way out of the problem. We did it by investing and injecting humanity into those neighborhoods. Sheriff McMahill spent most of his 36 minute speech discussing what he called injecting humanity into the police department. The sheriff also discussed new policies like allowing beards, changing the color of the uniform, and doing away with wool pants. All campaign promises and changes McMahill says are coming to better the life of officers on the job. And finally, Sheriff McMahill made an effort to urge officers to arrest less if the alternative is investing in the community setting a goal to reduce crime across the valley by 10 percent. I 100 percent believe that we can make that happen. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. And bail is set for the actor and alleged cult leader facing sexual assault and trafficking charges. Prosecutors allege 46-year-old Nathan Chasing Horse operated a cult called The Circle to commit crimes across the U.S. and Canada. On Tuesday, prosecutors requested a $2 million bail, while the public defender argued for $50,000. The judge set bail at $300,000. And 15 black residents are honored by Clark County commissioners this week for their advocacy and work in Las Vegas during a ceremony celebrating Black History Month. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more on their efforts. Las Vegas city leaders and commissioners, along with the public, gathered Tuesday, speaking about the importance of Black History Month and the people who played major roles in driving equality-based initiatives forward through the years in Nevada. I want to thank all of you. Ruby Duncan received a standing ovation at the event. She is credited for her anti-poverty work, including organizing a group of 200 women to speak to the legislature in the 1970s, championing for welfare, nutrition programs, and food stamps in Nevada through the nonprofit Operation Life. The WIG program did not come into the state of Nevada until we, as a group of cold mothers, cold welfare mamas, and other lawmakers, other Black History Month pioneers in Nevada that were recognized include Pastor Sam Robertson, who developed much of the infrastructure around East Lake Mead Parkway and Boulder Highway, including affordable housing, and Casina Douglas Boone, founder of Tulips. For the full list of honorees, log on to LVRJ.com. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A new down payment assistance program funded through the American Rescue Plan is expected to assist hundreds of first-time homeowners in Nevada. The Nevada Housing Division recently received $7.5 million to offer down payment assistance in the form of a $15,000 second mortgage. There's also an annual income restriction, though, of $40,000. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. You can look forward to a pleasantly cool night in the 50s. Temps won't dip into the 40s until after midnight, with clear skies here to stay. On Thursday, a mildly breezy day with around 15 mile per hour winds and sunny skies. A high of 62 and low of 38 degrees. The winds should dwindle by Friday and the sunny skies should last until Saturday. Starting Sunday, you can expect overcast skies with the winds returning and the skies should clear up by Monday. Starting Tuesday, more gusts on the way. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Derek Carr went marching into New Orleans uh, to meet with the Saints today to talk about a potential trade between the Raiders uh, and the Saints for Derek Carr. Uh, so what does that all mean? Uh, they were not going to let Derek Carr talk to any teams unless there was compensation agreed upon uh, beforehand with that team. Uh, now that element of it has been uh, satisfied. If all the boxes get checked off, then there's a possibility that Derek, who has a no trade clause, 
we'll waive it to facilitate a trade. If not, it's back to the drawing board. And of course, we understand that there's a February 15th deadline really for the Raiders to do one thing or the other. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer in the world, according to the Mayo Clinic. Today, we're focusing on women's health. Recognize that these women are at risk and have different risk factors than men the same age, and that they can get heart disease. Experts say it's important to address risk factors such as high blood pressure in premenopausal women. In sports, the Las Vegas Aces are under investigation due to their conduct surrounding the exit of all-star forward Dierica Hamby. A source with knowledge of the situation told the Review Journal that the investigation also includes allegations that the Aces engaged in salary cap circumvention. I'm best friends with Dierica. I am vice president of the Players Association and I'm a very proud member of Las Vegas Aces. And, you know, because the investigation is going on, I can't comment at this time. In the meantime, I know that I can continue to support my friend and continue to be a proud member of the Aces. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Phoenix Open is always one of the most exciting PGA Tour events thanks to the raucous par 3 16th hole. It should be even louder this week at TPC Scottsdale with the Super Bowl taking place across town. The field includes eight of the top 10 golfers in the world and John Rahm is the plus 750 favorite at Caesar Sportsbook to win the event. Rory McIlroy is next at 9 to 1 followed by defending champion Scotty Scheffler at plus 950. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Are you ready to eat your heart out? Then get ready for Durango Resort's Food Hall this fall. The $750 million project from Station Casinos is taking shape in Southwest Las Vegas, set to include you Are Me Sushi and Shang Artisan Noodle. Here are also renderings of Ipono Cafe and Fiorella, plus Nielsen's Frozen Custard and the Oyster Bar. This 25,000 square foot food hall will reportedly feature 11 food outlets. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. See you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.